<laughs> uh, the poll numbers are massive for you going on the Super Tuesday. We found that a lot of people that were agnostic to politics in general see these legal cases against you. They see when, how life was back under a Trump administration. Do you think that's the key to pull some of these independent voters into this next election, seeing that new cases are unfair, they have no merit, and also the poll numbers and their life before Trump? It's such an interesting question because historically, a thing like what I've been going through would have hurt a political party or a political candidate terrifically. You wouldn't even run. You wouldn't be able to run. You'd get out. And this has happened over many years, many times. In this case, I mean, the polls show that uh, I'm much more popular than I was before weaponization. It's been weaponized like it's never been. This is for third world countries. This isn't for us. Biden ought to drop all of these things. And frankly, he may do better if he does, because people would say, wow, that was very reasonable. Look, they're all the state, the city and the federal. They're all coordinated. Fannie Willis's lover spent hours and hours at the White House, I guess, with White House counsel and with DOJ plotting out this plan. Nobody talks about that. They're all uh, they're all coordinated with the White House. It's weaponization. Never been done in this country. It's been done in third world countries, banana republics, never in this country. So I really believe what they should do is really go all the way, go out and stop all of this nonsense. They're nonsense cases and everybody sees it. You just the narrative surrounding Donald Trump suggesting that he strategically used legal proceedings in coordination with the White House, perceiving bias against him within the legal system. These allegations, seen as politically motivated and part of a concerted plan against him, may influence public perception. Analyzing Trump's approach to framing legal cases as tools for political maneuvering and erosion of democratic principles raises concerns about their impact on trust in institutions. Contradictory evidence arises when examining Trump's claim that historical legal challenges harm political candidates as polls show increased popularity attributed to unwavering support from his followers who view these legal battles as unjust attacks, strengthening their loyalty. Trump portrays himself as a target of political agendas resonating with like-minded individuals, 